Okay, it is the uh, axle seals that's bad on this thing. And I got new ones. And so far, all it is take the tire off. And I got the seal pulled out, but that's how it looks in there currently. All dirty and everything. And here it is right here. It's actually a bunch of crap right around, but it's actually right there is the seal. Okay, so I'm going to get this all cleaned up and ready to put the new one in. Let's get to that point. Okay, got it all cleaned up. Got the tire cleaned up. Got the new seal right here. Then we just push it up on there. Look at that, it just goes right in. I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> that's probably not good. Oh, sorry, he didn't see it. <laughs> I just pushed it on there by hand. I mean, what the doo-doo. <clears throat> I'd feel a lot better if there was like a a clip on there to hold it on there, you know what I mean? Now, let me mess with this for a minute and check it out. Okay, well, it just went right on there. I'm not too sure that that won't leak again. But, see if I can put this all back together while holding the camera. Oh, 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 you know what? I need to put the keyway in there. Like that. You know what? I'm not going to be able to do this. Hold on. Okay. Got the washer on there, or the tire, the washer, and the lock. Now all that goes on there is the dust cap. Like that. Okay, now we'll do the other side. Okay, you got this side ready to go back in. Hopefully I can show you how easy it went back on there, but maybe this side won't be that way. See how I can just push it in there? Isn't that crazy? It doesn't seem right. But, <clears throat> maybe it is. Okay, that's it. This side, it, it was still in there, so I had to draw a screw into it and then grab the screw with a pair of pliers and it came right out. So, that's how I got it out. All right, well, now all you do is Put this washer on there and that goes right there. Then your tire. And then of course the axle key, which mine's upside down. Hmm, I can't spin it, why can't I spin it? Anyway, let me get it back together. Okay, got it all back together. Now I just got to uh, fill it up with the oil and I think you gotta pull this battery out of the way. Pretty sure. So let me do that and we'll check it out. Okay, well, I took the battery out like you see, and I looked down in there, and I could just, I could not see any kind of a cap to add oil. So, I googled it, and basically typed in the model number of this tractor on YouTube, and found a video with this very exact transmission that I have in mind. And the guy on there said that there is no oil fill, it just has, it just has grease in it. <laughs> Anyway, so, evidently, mine does not need oil. But, you know, he said put it back together, put the new seals in there, and you should be good to go. There's not even a place to put grease back in there, you know, like, to add grease back to it, but. Anyway, so, I'm going to put it together and just mow with it until it absolutely does not work anymore. So, yeah. Let me put this back together real quick. Alright, well, it is all back together. Looking good, so now I'm gonna mow with it. Well, I'm gonna end this video right here, so hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, it'll help somebody. All right, till the next one. Thanks for watching.